Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, my name is Jessica. I love posting all things home, home decor, DIYs, seasonal decor, all that fun stuff. I love nothing more than when aesthetic home decor meets functionality. So those are the pieces I'll be showing you in today's video. I'm always looking for ways to incorporate my style while also adding a ton of function to our space. And a huge thank you to Narwhal, who is today's sponsor. So starting right here at my entry, this area took me a while to figure out how to make it functional and pretty at the same time. So I wanted to kind of walk you through and explain my setup here. This big cabinet is actually a TV stand that I found at HomeGoods. My number one tip, especially with furniture, is to think outside the box. This was not intended to be an entryway piece, but it ended up being the perfect functional piece to fit this space. I love the size of this piece. As you can see on the top, there's plenty of room for decor. And I got a while ago this mirror window piece that I found at Kirkland's and it works great for this wall because there is no windows on this wall. So it's a great way to just reflect that light in to act as a window. As far as things that you want to just grab on your way out or drop in when you get home like keys sunglasses headphones things like that I found this really decorative piece at home goods I like to find pieces that really add like that organic look to our space while also being very functional I feel like your eyes are drawn to the piece itself and not so much the things inside of it I had a piece here for a while that had a lid and you know how that goes things were just getting put on and around that so I found that an open piece like this was key for my family the main reason I went with this piece and why it makes it so functional are these tall cabinets on either side when you open them up there is just so much shoe storage over here I cut out just like a waterproof I think this was like a car mat or something that I got at the Dollar Tree just for boots and things like that. This has been such a game changer for us. We don't have a mud room or anything like that. So this is our entrance and this is where we can just take our shoes right off and then store them away in here so they are out of sight. Another thing I started doing that I find really helpful is keeping these deodorizer balls in here. They just kind of have like a clean linen scent and they're just right here so it's easy to pop in your shoes but I find that even having them just here keeps this whole thing smelling fresh so it doesn't you know start to smell like dirty shoes every time you open it and then over here depending on the size of your family you could do more shoes but what's really worked well for us is keeping baseball hats here on the top shelf and then we keep our book bags purses and things like that down here and if you have pets you know it's a struggle on where to keep leashes and stuff so I love that we have these tiny drawers here we have our leashes harnesses poop bags we have some umbrellas things like that so that is what we keep right on top and then the next two drawers are just basically handy things we have our screws we have hammers things like that so just a little tool drawer and let's see, we have my little vacuum and a bunch of command hooks down at this one. But I just love all of the storage options for this. And then over here, this is a new piece. I found it last night and I've been looking for the longest time for a chair to put here. I wanted to find something that was antique to kind of tie in with my other wooden antique pieces. And this one I found for free on the side of the road yesterday. I am so excited. I've been hunting all of my thrift stores, antique stores, and these chairs are either way too expensive or just not the look I'm going for. But look at all of the detail on this. I love it. It even has that cane detail down there. 
And again, this is just really functional to sit and take your shoes on and off. I might put a little decorative pillow on there. I was just so excited about that find. While we're on the topic of function, I wanted to share with you the most functional piece in my home and definitely the most helpful to me. It is my Narwhal Freo X Ultra Robot Vacuum and Mop. Now I have had other robot vacuums and mops in the past, but this one is by far the best. Let me show you why. For the vacuum setting, this is by far the most suction power I have ever seen in a robot vacuum. I can tell such a difference on my carpets especially. It's not just cleaning the surface, but it's really getting down into those fibers for a deep clean. Another feature that sets the Freo X Ultra apart is the Tangle Free Floating Brush. I have so much pet hair in my home and this just vacuumed the entire carpet and there is no pet hair wrapped around the brush. Every other robot vacuum I've had, the hair would get wrapped so tightly around here causing more work for me to get it off so the fact that that's not an issue with this is a 10 out of 10 for me now for the mop feature the freo x ultra has the world's first ai dirt sense technology exclusive only to freo which really sets this apart i'm testing it out here with some orange juice it's using sensors and ai algorithms to find the stain and will continue mopping until that area is clean This thing just mopped up all of the orange juice off the floor and then went back in its all-in-one station and cleaned the mops. Like this should be stained with orange juice, but it just cleaned my floors and then cleaned itself. Are you kidding me? I also love that it's quiet and it doesn't bump into my baseboards, furniture, kids, or pets. Thank you so much to Narwhal for sponsoring today's video. I will have the link to the Narwhal Freo X Ultra in my description box with an early bird offer, or you can find it by searching Narwhal Freo X Ultra on Google or Amazon. Next on my list are washable rugs, especially for high traffic areas like an entryway. My favorite are the runner or smaller sizes. I find that my eight by 10 size rugs are a little inconvenient to wash, especially if you have to move furniture off of them, but I cannot not have a washable runner. It is so convenient being able to just lift them up, throw them in the wash. You can change out the styles and patterns. These are just an absolute must have for me and they are super functional, keeps my space clean and smelling fresh and also looking beautiful. And then across the way from my entry is my office and I recommend these Ikea Billy bookcase systems for anyone who needs to add some more storage to a space, wants to add some decor that's still functional. So they have all different kinds of styles of these bookcases and I chose the ones that have all of this extra storage cabinet area at the bottom and then the open shelves I can decorate so it just adds kind of that built-in look to my office but without the huge price tag. And this section here is supposed to be for a TV. This whole thing could be you know like an entertainment center with the TV in the middle but again just thinking outside the box I figured instead of having nothing here and just an open space I would get this and it would give me a little bit more storage and this also doubles as a little sitting area for Mr. Bean which we love. The next thing are these decorative boxes. When these decorative boxes first started getting popular, I'm not gonna lie, I did not quite understand what they were used for or how they could be functional. So I wanted to give you some ideas of how I use mine. In here for my office, I like to keep this tool, which is the tool that is used to put together this particular bookshelf. So I can change around the shelves and all that stuff or if anything gets kind of knocked out of place. So this way I have the tool for it right here and it's also somewhere stowed away and safe. Also, I like to keep little remotes that I don't use every day. These are for my entryway candle sconces. So again, something that I don't need to have access to every day, but it's nice to know where it is. I also keep a hidden charger that no one in my family knows about in here, just in case. I'm always looking for new furniture pieces. So this is a nice little thing 
thing to keep here in case I need to measure for some new furniture things. And then I like to keep user manuals for any electronics that are in this space, in this box, because at least for me, I can never find those things when I need them. So having them in the same room as the electronic has been so helpful. Another really functional piece that I think looks so pretty and almost looks like a piece of decor in our home is this wooden gate. We use this to keep our animals from going upstairs when we don't want them to. I found this particular one at Marshall's and they have all different sizes. This is the four panel and as you can see, it's really easy to fold. What's cool about this as well is this piece opens and closes like a door. So it's really easy for us to get up and down the stairs and it's super practical. Look, he wants to go upstairs and hide under my son's bed. So as you can see, it's really practical and I think it looks really pretty there as well. And our little powder room downstairs is a place that I would love to redo. This is completely builder grade from when we moved in. So again, a goal of mine is to redo that this year, but I do have some pieces in here that are really functional and pretty that I wanted to show you. One of my favorite pieces is this tissue cover. I love the gold color and all of the detail. It looks really high end. And under it, you would never guess that there is this shooting star tissue box that my daughter picked out. So I will link whatever I can from this video in the description box, but this one I thought was just super functional and I just love how it elevates our space. Another thing that you will see all over my house that I'll show you in this video are baskets. I love this one. It fits right on top of the toilet and since this is the primary toilet that guests use, I like to keep toilet paper rolls in here in case one runs out. And then I also just put in here this room spray. So, you know, it's not the most pretty bathroom, but there are ways to make it look pretty with decor while also being functional. And now over to our living room. I have another basket under here and I bought these as a set. They kind of all like stack together like a little nesting box of various sizes of these baskets. And I love that they're all very uniform looking and I use them all over my house, which you'll see. This is one of the smaller ones and I use it to collect all of my daughter's toys. And what's also great is once it's full, I can just grab that whole basket and walk it up to her room and put them away. And then over here is this large basket ottoman. I love that it incorporates that basket texture. So it's really pretty in here, but it's also really functional because if you lift up the lid, we have all of our puzzles in here. And if you're not in the little kid phase like I am, you could put extra blankets and, you know, some trays, some pillows, things like that. I love that it has this removable linen piece as well, so you can wash that really easily. Oh, and then I wanted to show you for these decorative boxes over here, I decided to keep all of the batteries to change out these faux tapered candles. So I've definitely changed my mind on the decorative boxes. I have found so many uses for them. If you just look around the room, you can come up with ways and different things that you can keep in there that will make your life so much easier. Here is another furniture piece that is practical and decorative. And for my specific style, I love to find antique wooden pieces. So this one is one of my favorite cabinets. And right now I just have a bunch of decor in here for spring. I love to use blue and whites. And this gets those pieces out of my cupboard, which makes more room and I'm able to display them and enjoy them. And then in these drawers, I store all of my candle holders, my table runners, all of my cloth napkins and stuff, basically anything that I wanna use for entertaining that goes on my dining room table. So if you have a little wall in your space like we have here, I would definitely recommend looking on Facebook Marketplace, going thrifting or to an antique shop to look for for a piece that can add function, add some decor, and some storage to your space. And speaking of that, over across the way is my kitchen, and we have another small 
wall right here and what I decided to do is I found this really cute cabinet on Facebook marketplace and I'm using it as my coffee area and we do I'll show you in a second have two different coffee machines this is the espresso machine and we have a Keurig so instead of having them sitting next to each other I like that this is moved to its own area and then all of these drawers, except for this top one, are functional. So under here, I have all of my espresso and coffee making materials. And then I was even able to move a lot of my mugs out of my cup cabinet, which leaves a lot more room for our travel mugs and stuff like that. And I have teacups in here. So again, this piece just ties in with the other antique furniture that I have throughout my home. It saved some counter space in my kitchen, getting this espresso machine in its own area and freed up a lot of space for our cup cabinet. Something I decided to do was take my pantry doors off and that was very controversial on my channel about whether that was a good decision or not, but for me, I think it helps hold me accountable of keeping my pantry clean and organized. So I have wooden crates and baskets. I also like to keep some of my favorite decorative pieces displayed here. Again, taking them out of my cabinet and putting them in a space that I can enjoy. And here is another cabinet from Ikea that I keep all of my kids' snacks and, you know, things that I want to hide away in. I find that this is the perfect amount of space for us so things don't get, you know, pushed back and kept in there forever. I'm able to go through it often and restock it as we need and then when I'm not using this piece for decor I like to keep our onions potatoes garlic things like that displayed on here and these peg rails I haven't had anything hanging up in a while but I do find that they are super functional and I have this over here that I use all of the time and you can buy these peg rails just about anywhere i got mine custom made on etsy to fit this specific island and it came as a raw wood piece so i just painted it white so you can totally customize it to your space and as you can see i have these hot pot holders here these really cute thrifted wine glass charcuterie boards, a little dish towel, some small cutting boards. And again, this is a very collected, pretty look while also getting things out of my cabinet and displayed where I can see them. Next, we're moving on to the kitchen and I have some really pretty functional finds to show you in here. The first thing is this kitchen lamp. I don't know what has taken me so long to to jump on this trend because it is the ultimate cozy feeling having a cute little lamp in your kitchen. If you watched my last thrifting video, this is that lampshade that I found and at Target they have these mix and match bases and lampshades basically so you can um, pick a base and then choose a lampshade. In this case, I just loved this glass orb base with the gold accent and I already had this lampshade so what's so functional about this is at night I just keep this on and it adds so much light down here it's crazy it pretty much lights up our whole kitchen with just a cozy glow so if we're coming down to grab a glass of water or anything like that this is the perfect little addition. Now I wanted to show you this corner. And as I said, we have this Keurig machine here. So it was nice to have our espresso machine moved off the kitchen counter. So we just have one coffee machine on here. I know people are always thinking of creative ways to keep their K cups. And again, I just love the look of baskets. So to me, I think that is a really cute and practical way to keep your K cups. And then these are such a cool addition whether you need some more space if you have a smaller kitchen or 
um, you just want to get things out of your cabinets to display these shelves that I have on my fridge here are magnets and they are so strong they have never fallen down and as you can see I just have some salt and pepper shakers here with a cutting board I have some fruit bowls and this cute wooden spoon so I think these are a super functional decor piece and it just kind of adds some flair and decor to the side of your fridge and then over here I have my cookbook holder which I love to keep just one of my pretty cookbooks open like this displayed on my counter I also use it every night when I'm cooking my little meal service recipes it's so convenient to just have them right here and this is what this particular one looks like again i love this little gold accent and the wood this is just a great piece i know a lot of people probably have these but again it took me a minute to jump on the bandwagon and now i love it and then this big wall in our dining room was just empty and we moved this piece that used to be in our entryway here and just created these really easy diy open shelves i think it added so much visual interest to what would have been otherwise an empty wall i have had my coffee station over here at one point but now i just like it to display some of my favorite dishes and things like that this was a super easy diy and this table used to be our entryway table but i love how it looks over here i love these canisters to get all of my brown sugar and flour out of my cabinet so this way they are displayed really pretty and you can use them as decor pieces around your kitchen down here is just another catch-all space for my kids toys that they play with on the dining room table this is another one of those nesting baskets that i keep all all of my extra paper towels in and then we also have these drawers that I keep various decor pieces in and serveware things like that all right everyone thank you so much for watching today's video as always I hope it was helpful gave you some inspiration and ideas of ways that you can decorate and make your own spaces more functional and I will see you all next week here on my channel for another video